Now that we know how to divide decimals, we can apply that to our word problems. So here we have one that says it will take 21 equal monthly payments for Amy to pay off her credit card balance of $1,408.68. How much is she paying each month? Well, this is a little bit of an unrealistic problem because uh, whenever you have a credit card balance, of course, you continue to have interest and charges, um, late fees and uh, over limit fees and all kinds of things so that you're not really and truly going to be making 21 equal monthly payments. But for our purposes, we're going to go with it and we're going to just see what, what it would cost her if she were to make 21 equal monthly payments and pay off this balance. Well, if you think about it, if she's making 21 equal monthly payments, that means that she's dividing up that balance into 21 different um, categories or 21, 21 different um, payments, for <laughs> better word. That tells us that we're going to be dividing. So we're going to take the $1,408.68 and we're going to divide that into those 21 equal monthly payments. Now, the key to dividing decimals again is to make sure you're dividing by a whole number. And in this case we are. So we can just line up our decimal and begin division. So 21 won't go into 1, won't go into 14, It'll go into 140. It'll actually go into there six times. Six times 21 would be 126. And let's subtract. So I need to borrow. 10 minus 6 would be 4. 3 minus 2 would be 1. I'm going to drop my next digit and begin again. So 21 will go into 148. Uh, seven times. Seven times 21 would be 147. And when we do the subtraction, that would be 1. Drop our next digit, which is a 6, and begin again. Now, 21 will not go into 16, so we have to put a 0 there. 0 times 21 is 0. We do the subtraction, and then we can drop our next digit. 21 will go into 168 eight times. Eight times 21 is 168. So that actually divided in there evenly. Now how much is she going to pay each month? That would be $67.08. Now if for some reason our, our numbers did not work out this nicely and we had to, uh, it just kept going, then because we're talking about money, we would want to round it to the nearest hundredth so that we had dollars and cents. Okay, let's look at the next one really quickly. This one says Darren Jackson earned $476.80 for 40 hours of work. Find his earnings per hour. So again, we're going to do the division. 476.80 divided by 40. We're dividing by a whole number so we can just line up our decimals and go. 40 will go into 47 one time. 1 times 40 is 40. When we do the subtraction, that would be 7. Drop our next digit is a 6. 40 will go into 76 one time. So that would be 40. When we do the subtraction, we get 6. 7 minus 4 is 3. Drop the next digit, which is an 8. 40 will go into 368 nine times. Nine times 40 is 360. And when we do the subtraction, we get an 8. Drop our next digit. 40 will go into 80 two times. Two times 40 is 80. And that goes in evenly. So it says find his earnings per hour, which would be $11.92 per hour. Now again, if this did not go in evenly, we would want to round to the nearest hundredth because of it being dollars and cents.